Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing good. Uh, today I want to talk about the Relic Editor in Elden Ring Night Rain, which you can download from Nexus Mods. So what is a Relic Editor? You can basically change the Relic slots into different perks, so you can modify uh, perks and create your own unique builds in Elden Ring Night Rain. So, to start off, uh, you go to nexusmod.com, Relic Editor CE table. And there's two things which you need to do. First thing is, is that you need to install the Cheat Engine 7.5, which you can basically just Google. You come up to this website, cheatengine.org, and you can just download the Cheat Engine. And once the download is done, you can basically just uh, double click it and install it. If that's done, then you can continue to the next step, which is to download the files. So you go to the Relic Editor CE table and files. You manual download, press download and slow download. Will take up a few seconds. Once that is done, you can extract the file for what you have downloaded. Then you have the Night Rain Relic Cheat Engine. Um, you double click it, you open it, and then uh, you open the game in offline mode. So how do you open the game in offline mode? Is you go to Steam, go to Elden Ring Night Rain, you have the setting wheel, and then you manage into browse local files. Then you go to the game, and then you have the Night Rain XC, you double click it, the game will launch. This will take a few seconds. Once the game has launched, you will be in uh, offline mode. You can double check this on the right corner of the screen, offline. You continue to the game and the game will uh, load. Once you're in the game, make sure that you're on uh, borderless window so you can tap through the game easily, which is you're gonna need to do that. You go to the relic table and you pick the relics that you want to change. So slot one, two, and three. We're going to start with slot one. Um, then you can uh, go to the cheat engine, which you've opened. You have here auto attached to process, highlight relic pointer. And then you have here slot one, slot two, and slot three. So these three slots are basically on the slot one, which you see here. Uh, what I have, uh, plus one additional character skill use, follow up, and starting event deals fire. Um, to continue of which relic IDs I need, I first need to pick which uh, great sort, uh, sorry, which powers I want to use. So I'm going to use the improved great sword attack power. And there's this website from Fearless Revolution where you can find the relic IDs. So you can basically just paste the name of it. So this is the one that I want to stack up on. Improved Greatsword Attack Power. I basically copy this ID code. And I, I'm going to slot it on uh, this relic. I want to stack all of them. So once I slot, I select, and then the cheat engine will recognize which relic IDs is already connected. And I'm basically just going to paste all three. Well, I'm going to paste all three in the relic slot one and two and three. And now the first slot will change into improved greatsword attack power. And I'm basically just going to do it for all, all these uh, relics. So one, two, three will also have this. One, two, three. So that's done. And now all three relics will uh, should have the improved greatsword attack power. Once you've done that, you just swap to any relic and you come back. So that way the game will uh, recognize that the relics have changed. And now I can I can see that my greatsword power have increased and I'll be able to uh, do more damage. Um, so that's basically how you change uh, relics. It's uh, very easy, very simple. 
there's the, you try to use the uh, source uh, websites to see which relic you want to use there are stackable ones and non stackable ones that's always uh, good to know but i find that the, the the most powerful ones are the weapon damage upgrades so what's my opinion about relic editing personally i think it's kind of bad that the game has put an rng uh, system for editing relics uh, personally i like to just uh, modify builds as i see fit and uh, after playing the game for 150 hours i don't really think it was that fun of farming relics which are 99 percent of the time useless so i do enjoy the game more while editing relic I also have to mention that I do play this game mostly uh, solo. I don't really play uh, online mode and I don't really know if it's confirmed that you can get banned from the game if you modify relics in uh, for online play. Something to keep in mind. Uh, I do think the game is more enjoyable when you play it solo uh, since there's just uh, kind of like a bad connection when you play multiplayer and at the same time uh, if you modify your relics, you will enjoy the game more, in my opinion. Anyway, guys, that's uh, how you uh, modify relics. Um, so, yeah. If you have any questions, just drop them in the comments and uh, I'll get back to you. Have a good day.